down to yesterday, I spent hours walking around looking for the latest jumpsuit that I wanted to... And I'm going through shop after shop after shop after shop. I must admit, I used to um, shop with uh, Wallace and they, I, I liked their, their fit and their cut mm. and everything, but now it just feels like I put something on and it doesn't fit here or it doesn't fit here or the, 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 the size of it isn't the correct fit or you, you just can't find the size that I want. So I've reverted to online stuff mm. because, it, you know, you go in and it's a size 8 or a size 10 or a size 12. The average woman is a size 16. Mm. So why are there not 20 size 16s or mm. 20 size 18s and upwards? <laughs> you know, 8, 10, that wouldn't even fit over my arm. Yeah. I'm looking at it, I'm like... Don't you think, Brenda, that the kind of clothes you're looking for, which are smart, which you can wear to work, it's for all very well to have these plus-size models wearing but what is essentially sportswear. That's easy. We can all get into sportswear. We can all find larger sportswear. But if you want something to go to work in and be taken seriously and sit behind a desk or do your job, that's where the problem is for plus-size women. Because either the clothes are too old or too frumpy or they come in, as you say, tiny sizes yeah. for someone who's like size 8, size 10. And, I mean, I'm a 14, and a normal 14, but I find that the sleeves are really, really short. So mm. I put them on and I think, oh, is this for short square woman? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but I do find it's kind of across the board sometimes. I mean, I, for myself, I, at the moment, I'm trying to find a pair of tights mm. for my six-year-old. Yeah. Um, and she's doing a show on, on Sunday, and I'm trying to find a pair of dance tights for black skin. Can I find them? No. no. I've searched the internet. I've tried lots of different search engines, and I, know, and I won't mention the names, but I've tried lots of different shops, online shops as well, to find a pair of tan tights for... for, for is, when you and told me that, I just couldn't yeah, believe yeah, it. No, but it's the same actually. with plasters. You can't find black plasters. Right. I, I had... <laughs> when I was going through my chemo, I had a porthole, and so I, I mean, was on stage... what's wrong with the green one? Well, a green... <laughs> I don't agree. That's one of those funny green no. ones. You, but you feel, you feel very self-conscious. I felt very self-conscious being on stage singing with a massive pink plaster against my skin. And I, I just thought people would say, well, what's wrong with her? What's it? And, and it was one of the producers that researched and found me some brown colour plasters. Mm. And I was happy for that. But the, it needs to be more... More things need to be accessible yeah. for people. Yeah. Get on to it. Get on to it, Brenda. Can we have some plasters, please? <laughs> and, some, and some tights. Who's looking? Well, it's really... <laughs> Do you mean you actually get cuts? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, oh, I'm oh, harsh. <laughs> I thought you were hardcore. <laughs> yeah. Getting back to the plus size, though, I went um, for a, a little girl, I went to find a Barbie doll the yeah. other day and uh, went into the toy shop, and Barbie oh. has changed.